Elder O. Vincent Halleck, President of the Pacific Area of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, travelled from Auckland, New Zealand recently to the islands of Vanuatu to assist the progress of ongoing church-sponsored recovery efforts to repair the damage created by Cyclone Pam in 2015. The humanitarian services of the church and church members were leaders in the initial disaster response efforts providing water, food and shelter and hygiene supplies. Since that time, the focus has been helping Ni Vanuatu repair and rebuild their homes. When Cyclone Pam, one of the most powerful on record, ripped through Vanuatu, which is located in the South Pacific, roughly 1,000 miles east of Australia's famed Barrier Reef, it destroyed or seriously damaged 9,500 homes and obliterated 90% of the buildings in the hardest hit areas. 24 people lost their lives and nearly 3,500 were displaced. In keeping with the spirit of helping others to help themselves, welfare and humanitarian services of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and Naudiest Charities are providing building materials, design expertise and construction oversight. The work has been done by homeowners and local workers after completing construction training courses provided with the assistance of LDS charities. This is what the people had to do with to make, to make, uh, make their own house with the tarps. There's a family living in there. So the house that we saw before earlier in the earlier video in the blue tarp, the lady that uh, who lived there is moving into this house here uh, with her family. At a press conference in the capital city of Port Vila, following his visits to construction sites on the islands of Efate and Tana, the hardest hit areas, Alda Halleck briefed media on the church's efforts to help the Ni Vanuatu. He discussed many of the humanitarian efforts supported by the church in Vanuatu, with particular focus on the extensive housing rebuild and repair projects underway since Cyclone Pam. Alda Halleck shared the church's goal is to rebuild 330 homes using techniques and technologies designed to withstand cyclone strength weather. To date, 98 houses have been rebuilt on Efate and 77 on the island of Tana. Choosing recipients for assistance is based on need and is open to those who are not members of the church as well as church members. When a reporter asked why the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is so involved in efforts to strengthen Ni Vanuatu families and communities, Alda Halleck replied, It's due to our beliefs. We follow Jesus Christ. Before returning to Auckland, Alda Halleck was hosted by Prime Minister Charlo Salwai at his office in Port Vila. The Prime Minister and Alda Halleck discussed the united effort between the government of Vanuatu and the church in rebuilding and repairing houses. Prime Minister Salwai acknowledged the church's considerable assistance, not only since Cyclone Pam, but previously. We look forward to continue working in partnership with the church, Mr. Salwai said. We appreciate all the help you have given to this nation. Alda Halleck shared with the Prime Minister that the church's focus is on lifting lives, fortifying families and creating caring communities. We believe the family is the basic unit in the Lord's plan, Alda Halleck said. We teach a lot about how to build a good family in the church and the community, so our members can be good citizens in Vanuatu.